What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Knows episode number one. So if you've been following along, you know there's already a Steve Says. That is for the mind, personal development. There is Steve Does. That is for the body, the physical development. Now this is Steve Knows for the impact and income development, the business side of things. That covers the mind, the body, and the business. So this is Steve Knows episode number Number one, the first episode in this series talking about business, talking about sales, marketing, leadership, communication, teamwork, problem solving, the things you need to know about business to grow and scale your business on a weekly basis. Every Monday, this is going to be Steve Knows rounding off the week. That's five days of live shows here with me. That's this, this episode, Steve Knows, the business show on Mondays. Tuesdays is Steve Says, that's a personal development Wednesdays is Breaking the Cycle with Little Freak Kids. That's the Role Model Mindset Show. Thursdays is Steve Does. That's a health, fitness, nutrition show. And then Friday is The Russian and the Freak, talking about family, relationships, and things like that, rounding off the week. This is fucking awesome and exciting to get this started. Today, we're going to talk about what kind of leader and manager and boss are you. And this it all starts with your, your business's foundation, your mission, your vision, your values, your higher calling, mainly your core values. And we're going to go deep into those core values here today. But Steve Knows is a live show on how to have a no excuses business mindset guiding you to better leadership, better communication, teamwork, and problem solving so you can make more money with strategy and structure to operate to dominate in the battlefield of business. This show is for business owners, for executives, for managers, and their teams struggling with daily development, teaching, training of your team, where we will guide you on how to become even better leaders, better communicators, and even better problem solvers so that you'll be prepared for the battlefield of business and and, and you as well as the entire team will begin treating the business like it's your own, allowing you as the leader, the owner, the entrepreneur, the manager, CEO, whatever it is, to focus on the growth and scale of the company. This is what it's all about, helping companies, owners, teams, and managers with leadership, teamwork, communication in this highly immersive, developmental way. This is, this is a, a, if you have questions, comments, ask them right here. You're live. We have them on the multiple screens here around the way. I'm literally surrounded by screens and lights around me. So if you have any questions, put them there in the comments. Let's talk about it. This is what it's all about. Building your team for the battlefield of business. Let's freaking roll. So let's start off. What, what is the basis? What's the foundation of any business? And if let me ask you this question. Are you a business owner? Are you a manager? Are you a leader? Or even, even if you're not, just an employee? Or you just work somewhere? Does your company have core values? I want to ask that. Does your company have core values? I guarantee you the answer is yes. Now, here's the next question. Does your, do you know the core values of that company word for word? Or even g- basic, generally, do you even know the, the overall idea of the core values? Can you name those core values? So let me tell you this. If you're the, and I've had owners, of, owners of fucking companies and managers and leaders and CEOs and VPs of companies that could not tell me the core values of the company. That they had to pull up on their little fruit phones and start scrolling to find the core values of the company. So let me tell you, if, if you have to do that, and I hate to tell you straightforwardly this, but this is what you know that we're gonna do things a little bit differently here on Steve Knows, just the same way we do on Steve Says and Steve Does, Steve Knows. I have to tell you this, and I have to be a little straightforward, and I hope this fucking stings a little bit, but you are operating as a fucking fraud if you don't know your own core values. And I've seen it time and time again. And in the teams that we've been coaching, I've yet to have an entire team that knows all the company's core values, which is fucking mind boggling. It, it, it blows your mind that that exists especially from the owner, from the CEO, from the entrepreneur level. It's your fucking business. How can you not know the core values of your own business? And then there's, of course, you have the core values. 
If you don't know them, how can you possibly be living by them? And if you don't know them and you're not living by them, how can you possibly teach them? And if you can't teach them, how can you expect your team to follow them? And then on top of that, how can you expect to discipline your team on them? Because every decision you make, every move you make in the company should be based on your core values. Every decision should be held up against the mirror of your core values. How the fuck do you do that if you don't even know what the damn things are? So we're going to go a deep dive into core values here. And it, it could, they could be simple core values like in the Marine Corps. They know we're, they're, that we're fucking knuckleheads in the Marine Corps. They have to give us just three words. That's it. It's honor, courage, and commitment. Now, of course, you need to know what do each of those three mean in, as in a Marine? What do those three mean to you personally? And you would get asked that on the spot in an inspection about, okay, you know what they are. What does that mean? And then after that, what does that mean to you? And you'd have to know what that is. And if you're, uh, um, well, uh, you're a fucking fraud. And you're a fake-ass Marine. And you're a fake-ass CEO. You're a fake-ass entrepreneur. And, and you're not really going to grow and scale a company to any significant level. Or any significant impact. Or any significant income. If you can't nail down the fucking basics of what these core values are. And... Let me tell you, in the gyms, and, and I have it right over here. You can't see on the on the cameras here because they're all fixed. I don't want to start fucking up with all the cameras. But here, even in this office, I have a huge banner of the core values from our gym, from this, from the gym we had in New York. This happens to be this logo right here uh, on the fitness side. And you saw this huge banner. It was 15 core values. They're pretty long, and they are hard to remember. And we eventually narrowed it down to three overlaying core values. So three of the main ones we made is the three main core values. But we still have these 15 core values. I'm actually going to read them to you here in a second. But... They're right here on the wall, hanging there. When you walked into the gym, it wasn't, the core value should not be just something that's in a handbook that you tell someone one time or you hand out a little a flyer to someone when they first join the company. Like your onboarding process of employees should be built around the fucking core value. It should be a slow process about the culture of the company, the core values of the company, what it means, the history of the company, the tribal knowledge of the company. This is what you should be digging fucking deep into on the onboarding. People rush the onboarding process because they want to get someone out there. They want to get someone working in the company and they rush it. They rush They rush the hiring process, which should be slow. They rush the onboarding process, which should be slow. And we'll, we'll break those down in, in different weeks, upcoming weeks, about the hiring process, about onboarding processes and things like that. But we would have this banner of the core values the hanging up. Like right when you walked in the door, bam, this, this thing would slap you in the face. And our first value, I'll read it to you off the top, is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Now, if you walk into a gym and that's the first thing you see, bring the fucking fire. And it has a little at symbol for the you in the fucking fire. But you get the point of what it is. Like, you know that if someone sees that and we would always ask them, did you get a chance to read our core values on the wall? What'd you think of them? We'll ask. Because there's a couple other things that, that whatever, maybe words that are offensive to certain types, certain types of fucking people. But if you... Core values should also be the barrier of entry for your staff, for your even and even for your clients and customers. You want to attract the clients and the customers that are going to be a good fit for your company. You want to attract the type of employees and teammates and partners that are going to be a good fit for your company. And if the first thing they see is bring the fucking fire every second of every second, that kind of gives a little idea about the edge, about the type of the business, the type of the gym, the type of the, the company that you're getting involved with. And if they make it past that and still want to have a conversation about getting a membership at this gym or still want to have a conversation about getting hired here, all right, you've made it past the first step. The first hoop you have to go through is to see, are you going to be able to handle the way we do things here? Because we might we do things a little unorthodox is maybe one way to put it. Peak motherfucking freak style is another way to put it. And that's what the core values do. The core values are showing our values to the core, to the fucking bone, to the DNA of who we are, what we fucking stand for, and the stamp we want to have, the fucking impact we want to leave on this world. That's what the core values are. So you need to know them. The, the, your core values need to be the, the bedrock. They need to be the constant fixture, the navigation system of your company. And everyone needs to know it. Everyone needs to be on board. Everyone needs to be able to understand it. Everyone needs to know about it. And everyone not only needs to know about it, needs to understand what they mean to the company, but also 
have their own personal understanding of what each one means. And that personal understanding needs to be in alignment with the company's understanding of each core value. And, and we had 15 core values to start. Now you need, need to be on board with all 15 of those fucking core values. You need to be on board all 15, not 14 of 15, 15 of 15, 100%. And if there was any one that you were not on board with, guess what? You cannot work for us. You cannot even be a client or a customer. We would turn away client or customers. We only want to attract like-minded freaks that we know are going to be brand ambassadors and are going to be there for the long term that are going to bring in their friends and family members and coworkers. That's the way you have to think about it when it comes to your core values. That is your barrier of entry. That is showing what you stand for, what the fuck you're all about. That's how you have to think about it. And let me ask you, everything, everything needs to get, needs to get measured and tested and put in front of the core values. Everything. Someone makes a mistake, someone fucks up, something does something wrong. You have to, all right, which core values are they violating? And you need to discipline someone according to the core values. The reason why this is an issue or this is a problem when you did A, B, and C is because it is in it is going against our core values number three, seven, and 14. And guess what? If you don't know the fucking core values, if you're not living by the core values, if you're not a walking, breathing, motherfucking example of the core values that you have, you better never write someone up or reprimand someone or discipline someone on anything until you have your own shit together. Get your own motherfucking house in order before you start talking to other people about stuff. That's the way you need to think about it. And then, on top of that, you you need to... Imagine this. Imagine you have the, the your onboarding process in your business, in your company. And you actually did it the right way. You did it nice and slow. You onboarded the right way. You taught them the company culture. You taught them the company core values. The way that you do things and operate in the freaking business. And now that this new motivated... Rockstar employee is starting. It's day one. They're walking through the halls of the company and they cross your path. You're the VP or CEO or maybe the motherfucking owner. And they pass you in the hallway and they say, hey, Bill, I'm so excited to work here. Thank you for hiring me. It's so great. I love the way you guys do things. I love the, the culture. I specifically love the core values. And, yet, and they ask you, what do you think of core value number four? And you're sitting there bubbling and mumbling and, and don't can't even imagine that in a live real situation. It doesn't get any worse than that. And you don't even know your own fucking core values. You got to pull out your little phone and start scrolling and swiping on your company's website to find out what it is because you don't even remember what it is, your stamp self. You just cr crush the, the career and the enthusiasm and all the hope that that person had in you, in your business, in your product, in your service. It's fucking gone. You just killed all your credibility. By not even knowing your core values. That, that, and that shows you're not living according to them. So how could you, you possibly teach them and enforce them? In the Marine Corps, we had, a, we had a saying. Set the standard. Live the standard. Enforce the standard. Or set the example. Live the example. Enforce the example. However you want to call it. You need to set it first. Create it. Then you need to fucking live it. Then you earn the right to enforce it. Until you set it and live it, you have no right to enforce it. And that goes according to your core values also. So th think about it. This is the way you need to run everything. The onboarding, the hiring, the culture, the way that you, you interact with your customers, with your, your potential customers, with your long-term customers, your previous customers, all according to the core values. So I'm gonna, and let me tell you, each business you have needs to have a, a separate group of core values depending, personalized for that business, customized for that business, for that company. I'm gonna start and I'm actually gonna read you the, uh, tell you the core values of the gym we had, all 15. So first we narrowed them down. And these three core values you will see are in every single one of my businesses for the most part. And those are the three overlying core values that I live by. And then after this, let me tell you this, after you have business core values, you need to also have family core values. We do that on the Steve Says and the Russian Freak. We talk about those and on the Breaking the Cycle show. But that applies here too. That is, that is all business here. We're going to talk about that here on Steve Knows. I'm even going to tell you our family core values. So First, on, on the business core values, and, and listen to these. These were the, the, the navigation system that led a, a small little 1,800 square foot of usable space studio in a small little town to a, a, a seven-figure per year business because of what I'm about to read you right now. And not just, not just reading it. These weren't just words on a fucking wall or in a little, little notebook 
or in a, 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 a flyer for employees, a, hand, a, a employee handbook, whatever the hell that shit is called. This is on the wall, but this is imprinted in the fucking bones, in the blood and sweat and DNA from the owners down to the entire team. And if it wasn't, guess what? If you're not in accordance to all these, you got to fucking go. So here they are, the, the, the 15 overlying core values, and I'll tell you the three that, are, that have lasted and stuck through every fucking business. Number one is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Number two is service the fuck out of every person that walks through these doors, be the highlight of their day, treat them like gold. Think about it. this is in a little, small, little gym, but this is how you ought to operate. This is why we dominated for over a decade in person. Number three was treat this gym with respect and honor like it is your house. Number four was treat the, treat the clients and staff like family. This is their home where their weirdness, craziness is normal and fits in. Number five was have fun, be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor, make people laugh. Number six, results are important but not as much as culture and experience. Now, as I'm reading these, don't just think about a gym. Think about any business. This is, this is life. These are really core values you could fit for life. That's why I've taken the overlying three, the umbrella core values, this, and have stuck it into our personal core values and every other business. Number seven, communicate clearly and fully transparent, no gossiping. Number eight, there is no such thing as a bad day in this gym. Leave your bullshit and drama at home. Number nine, lose your fucking ego. You can learn something new and positive from everyone you meet. Number 10, be a part of the team. Every single position relies on one another. Number 11, become a better version of yourself every day. Number 12, overpromise and overdeliver. Number 13, adapt and overcome. Do not crumble under the pressure. Find solutions, not problems. Be a solution maker, not a fucking problem maker. Number 14, if you're always on your A-game, you never have to get on your A-game. And number 15, never make any excuses, never accept any excuses. I want to ask you out there, put in the comments if you're watching this live or in a recording at this point, what are the, do you think are those the top three there that have stuck? There are three there that are the overpowering core values. I'm gonna, even in the project, we have the project, you know, I have the tattoo here of the project, this logo right here of the project. You can see there's the Peak Physique logo, there's the project logo, of course, the Marine Corps logo. All those have significant core values. So we're going to get to the project. It's called the Project Creed, which is basically the core values of the project coming up. So next is, well, let me tell you the three overline that I've gotten out of those 15 that became the three because apparently 15 lines are too hard for motherfucking people to remember. Pathetic as it is. You need to give people less. Like That's why they had to give us Marines, honor, courage, and commitment. Three freaking words, and that's it. So the three core values that overline that have just lasted, I'm talking about now for a couple of decades almost, are bring the fucking fire every second of every second. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. And no excuses, never make any, never accept any. Those are the three overline core values that have, have go across every business and really cover all the rest. But when you saw those 15, how about that? That's not just a way to run business. Those things I'm talking about, no gossiping, over-promising, over-delivering, adapting, overcome, being a problem, solutions to problem, not problem maker. Like, how about applying those things in every fucking area of your life? You can apply those things across the board. We made those specific to the gym, and you'll see as we go into other core values for other companies that, that I'm involved with, I'll, I'll read them off for you. You'll see some overlapping fields of fire and similar things, but that, that fit that specific company. So the next one. Is, and those are the 15 core values like at the gym. And again, that banner was right there. So you saw that shit. Imagine seeing that type of wording, that type of energy, that type of fucking vibe. And some people said, you know what? I'm just not, not cool with that. That's just not my kind of thing. That's all right. Later. Later. No problem. I have turned down business before, turned down clients before, and even fired motherfucking clients before that were not in tune with my core values. My these are, these are personal fucking beliefs to the bone, to the DNA. I want nothing to fucking do with you. I don't want your money. I don't want your cancer. I don't want it. Take that shit somewhere else. You know what? As a matter of fact, there's my competitor's place right there. Take your bullshit, your drama, your gossip, and all that other fucking petty bullshit and go over there. Go fuck up someone else's business. You're not going to fuck up mine because you need to be in alignment with these core values or you're gone. You're out the door. Fired many clients before. It's happened before. It can happen again. Then let's listen. Shift gears to the project. 
let's shift gears into the project. We call it the project creed, which is essentially the core values of the project. The project is, I'm a man of my word. I make a promise and I keep it. I'm responsible for everything in my life and that gives me the power and control to change my circumstances. I lead when called upon and follow when I must. I show respect to my fellow man, demand respect back, and grovel to no one. Not a motherfucking person. That part's not in it, but I added in just for my own flavor. I protect those who can't protect themselves. I leave others better than I found them. I have high standards of expectations, tremendous attention to detail, and am driven to dominate life. I am the modern day knight. How about that for some powerful fucking core values? And that's technically 10 lines there. And guess what? If you're not in, if you're not living, if you're not setting that example, living that example, and enforcing that, all 10 of 10, you cannot be part of the project. We will not take your money. We will not let you participate. We will not let you graduate. And if you do graduate and you stop living according to those, you will be also fired from the project. You can be eliminated. Don't forget, no matter who the fuck you are, you can always be fired. You could be the owner. You could be the CEO, the owner of a company. You can be fucking fired. And if you're not following your core values, every single one of them, all the fucking time, you should be fired. And you could be fired. You could be the owner. It doesn't matter. You'll be fired by your customers, by your clients. You'll be fired by them going to your competition. That's how you're going to be fired. All right, let's go to OTD. OTD is Operate to Dominate. That's a one-on-one coaching business where I coach high-level entrepreneurs, CEOs, managers, leaders in all different industries. So let's talk about that. Operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business. This is what we're talking about. So this are the core values. The, and, and the three from the previous have carried over word for word. You'll see them. You'll see it. So there's some overlapping fields of fire because those ones, those 15 that I mentioned from the gym, those can apply every, I could have just stuck with those for every fucking business. And that's covering almost all the bases. But here they are for OTD, Operate to Dominate. This is one-on-one peak performance, accountability, personal development coaching that I provide on a one-on-one basis, both in person and online. High level one-on-one coaching. Number one, bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Number two, operate to dominate. Not to survive, not to compete, but fucking dominate. Number three, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. That one sound familiar? Same with number one. Number four, speed of implementation. Don't just consume, but create and implement content. Number five, let go and fucking grow. Delegate and fucking elevate, scale, or fucking fail. Number six, white belt mentality. Always learning, lose your fucking ego. Number seven, adapt and overcome. Accept expect and prepare for change and chaos. Number eight, contribute, create solutions, not problems. Another overlapping field of fire right there. Number nine, every move moves the needle. And number 10, no excuses, never make any, never accept any. You saw three of those were word for word from the 15, those three overlapping, those three umbrella core values I told you from the 15 from the the fitness business transferred directly over. And then several other ones like adapt and overcome. Creating the solutions, not problems. Always learning, losing your fucking ego. Just from a different perspective, coming from a slightly different angle, depending on the company, the business, the culture, the type of clientele you're talking about. But they're all coming from the same fucking bones, the same DNA. Core values. All right, let's go into LTD's core values. I'm going to read those for you. That's a leadership and team development training. That's where myself and my partner, Navy SEAL partner, Ray Care, we travel around the country. And we actually coach up your teams, entire teams. If we've done groups as small as four and as big as 60 to 80 at a time, where we're coaching them on leadership, communication, teamwork, problem solving, so that we can get the team up to speed to be prepared. Imagine imagine if your team had the communication and and leadership of the Navy SEALs, had the discipline and motivation of the United States Marines. After we instill, we we take elements from... The military and elements from the entrepreneur world and just a, a family life, personal life, and combine all that in to leadership and team development training for your teams. So here's the LTD core values. I will operate to dominate the mission of the company above all else. I will treat my fellow troops as family with concern for their welfare. I understand that loyalty to the team creates loyalty to the clients. I will have the humility to put the team above myself. 
I am hungry to always learn, evolve, and contribute to profits. I will uphold the highest standards and expectations as if the business were my own. I will lead a culture of priorities, communication, and feedback at every level. I will have confidence in my ability to figure it out. Number nine, I will stand firm amongst the pressure in the trenches on the battlefield. And number 10, I am built for the battle of business. That is for LTD, leadership and team development training. So that's different companies, but you can see those core values. If you, if you put those all together, it's all coming from the, the, the bones, from, the, from the, the calling that you have of what the, your purpose is, what your calling is, and who the fuck you are, and what is the mission. What is the impact that you're looking to have on the world? And that impact is what's going to lead to the income. That's what it is based off of these core values. Now that's all in the, on the business side. Let's flip it over to the family side just for the hell of it. Even though this is Steve knows and we were really talking about business, but you need to be in the business of running your family, being a leader and a communicator and teamwork and problem solving on the family side also, because the more you can do that, the better you can be able to operate your business. So if you don't have family core values, you're fucking up on that side too. So here are, we call it the freak code. These are our freak family core values. Number one is discipline. I will maintain discipline as my foundation in everything I do say, do and say, never make any excuses and staying in the green. And if you don't know what staying in the green is, you don't know. If you know, you know. That's in a separate training. Maybe we'll get to one day. That's on the higher level training we do. Number two, energy. I will bring infectious energy and maximum effort into every situation, conversation, interaction, and every room I enter. Number three, attack. I will wake up early every day, take immediate action, never waste time, make shit happen, and attack the day and all tasks that come with it. Number four, the mind. I will strengthen my mind every day. Reading, writing, meditating, reflecting, journaling, because without a strong mind, a strong body is useless. Number five, body. I will strengthen and build my body every day, because without a strong body, a strong mind is useless. Number six. The mission. I will put the mission and the family before myself. See? Overlapping fields of fire. It all blends together. Just fitting the situation. Number seven. Listen. I will shut the fuck up. Listen first. Then respond. Not letting my emotions control me. Considering all things I hear. Number eight. Create. I will take risks. Make bold moves. Put myself out there. And contribute to make the family even more successful, including motherfucking money. Number nine, win. I will maintain a positive attitude in all situations. Even if I fail, I will always find the win or the lesson. Number 10, confidence. I will always think for myself, believe in myself, figure it out. We heard that before, FIO, and make decisions that seem right. Number 11, protect. I will defend and protect the safety of this family at all motherfucking costs. And number 12, freak. I will have the courage to be my freak self every day. Now, those are the core values of all the different companies that I'm involved with. And the company of the family, the family company that I'm involved with. And you should think of your family as a business, as your top business, as your number one priority business. I mean, I know we're talking specifically about business and making money and sales and marketing on this show, but it does intersect with the home field, the business field, straight, it, it is a battlefield. You need to be thinking on all those different areas. So those are the core values. And let me, and, and I want to go back to the beginning where I said, listen, if you don't have core values, if you don't know your core values, you're operating as a fucking fraud. I hope that sinks in and that stings a little bit. And that's going to make you go learn your shit. And then after you learn it, then you earn the right to fucking teach it to someone else. After you teach it to the team, you earn the right to fucking enforce it. So until you set the example, until you set the example, until you live the example, then you earn the right to fucking enforce the example. That's the way you need to think about it. Set the standard, live the standard, enforce the standards. And it starts with those core values. It starts with the mission, the vision, the values, and your higher motherfucking calling. That's the way you need to think about it. So 
I want you to put, put down in the comments or just message me privately, what are your team's core values? And then also even message me on the side privately. Did you know them? I want to know if you're a business owner, entrepreneur, do you actually know your core values, what they actually mean to you, or do you need to go look them up? And believe it or not, I've had some high level executives that have gone out around this, around the country to go train and coach them and their teams. And you'd be shocked how many people don't know the fucking core values. And they can't tell you what their core values mean to the company and what they mean to them. And again, those two need to be aligned. And then your own personal core values you have need to align with the company's core values and with your interpretation of the company's core values. All that needs to be congruent and aligned or else it's just a disaster. You're really not a good fit. You need to pack, go packing and, and go do your own thing. Go do something else. You ain't meant for that. You're not in alignment with that team. That's you know, the way you need to think about it. So those were all the core values for all the different businesses. That was for the fitness business. That was for the operate to dominate, the one-on-one -on -one peak performance, personal development, accountability coaching for business owners, for entrepreneurs, for leaders. And then for leaders, the project, which is the 75-hour personal development program for men, this in-person four-day event held here in Southern California. And then leadership and team development program, which is where myself and a Navy SEAL, my Navy SEAL partner, Ray Care, we travel around the country and coach up your teams to get them up to the level. Because often what happens is the leader, the owner, the entrepreneur, or the managers, they get all the coaching and the guidance. And guess what? They start leveling up and the team is left behind. You're now little, no longer speaking the same language. You need to get that team up to speed. That's what we do in the LTD is travel around the country and get your team up to speed to build them, build them up for the battlefield of business. So if, if you want any more information on any of those different organizations, companies that I'm talking about and, and private coaching for yourself, for your team, for the men's personal development here in person or the one-on-one -on -one operate to nominate coaching, which is for anyone, send me a private message. Let's talk about it. We'll hop on the phone, see which program is the best fit for you and listen. This is just the, this is just episode number one. And this is how real it's going to get. We're going to break it down. Like literally you could follow this Steve knows show every week. And I'll tell you what, within 12 weeks, you could have enough content and information to build a, a million dollar business from fucking scratch. And I can guarantee that. And you talk about by a year of these shows, 50 something episodes, build a motherfucking empire. If you're willing to put in the work and do the shit you're supposed to be doing and quit bullshit and get up off your ass. Set the standard, live the standard, and enforce the standard. All right, this has been Steve Says. Steve, nope, Steve Knows episode number one. I'm so used to being Steve Says. This is episode number one of Steve Knows. We're talking about the business side. Impact development and income development on the business side. Sales, marketing, leadership, communication, teamwork, problem solving. This is what Steve Knows is all about. So put the comments down below what I just asked you earlier. I want to hear your feedback about the core values. I got to get rolling. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.